In this final example from 8.1, we're going to do an exercise very similar to 22, but it's slightly different. And so I wanted you to get a, a second feel for this conclusion. Here we have a test statistic that's already been pre-calculated as negative 1.94 when testing a claim that P is equal to 3 8. And again, they're asking us to find a critical value and use their given test statistic and our discovered critical value in order to decide um, whether we should reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So let's see what happens. Again, to do the critical value, we're going to draw a picture and we're going to look at our claim, which is P is equal to 3 8 our null hypothesis, which is also P is equal to 3 8 and our alternate hypothesis, which in this case, remember our alternate hypothesis can only have um, a strict inequality symbol. And so it's not allowed to be the claim this time, and so it's going to be the opposite of the claim, or not equal to 3 8. Well, if you're not equal to 3 8, then you can't, you, you could be true on both sides of 3 8. And so this is where you get a two tailed test. Remember, our significance level is 0 0.05. So that 0 0.05 then is going to be split up into the two tails. We're two tails because we can be false. I'm sorry, we can, the alternate hypothesis can be true in either direction. So we're looking for this 0 0.025. So let's go look it up in our charts. I'll pull that one up again and we'll go look for the 0 0.025. Let's go find it. 0.014, there it is, 0 0.0250. If we extrapolate out, where is that? That's at 1.96. Now that's negative 1.96, so we'll take advantage of that. We come back to our example. And so this is negative 1.96, and this by default is 1.96 since it's balanced in there. So those are our critical values. Now we will reject if we're more than 1.96 standard deviations away in either direction. So why am I using that terminology? A terminology that I asked you to use way back when is because that's what they're giving you. They're giving you the z-score for the situation which was negative 1.94. And as you memorized before, a z-score is the number of standard deviations away. The test statistic measured how far the sample value was from 3 8 the the value in the claim and they found that it was negative 1.94 which seemed a long ways but it's actually not far enough remember you have to be beyond the critical values in order to reject this is the way that you reject the null hypothesis or if you're back here you're going to reject but if you're too close to center you're going to fail to reject your data is just not strong enough and that's where we're at. Negative 1.94 falls within the fail to reject area. And so we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis, meaning that there's not enough data to support or to warrant rejection of the null hypothesis. We cannot say that it's not 3 8. And therefore, we have not established our claim and we're failing at that goal and so that's what that feels like as we go through so it is a distance away but it's not far enough away for us to know that it's definitely not 3 8 and so that's the situation that we're in in a two-tailed type of test so hopefully 22 and 24 put together give you a, a good understanding. The nice part is, is as we roll into sections 8.2 and 8.3, you're going to practice with this in every single problem.